welcome to my channel in this particular trading video i'll walk you through how i go through my trading plan it's called a trading framework where i just view the market how i analyze it how i do take trades now i've been into trading for a couple of years now and i know if you're a beginner or if you're an amateur you don't know yet how market to raise up you know it's quite sometimes difficult especially if you don't have a guider or a person that you look at how we go through trades so you'll start at this first one which i'll show you how i, I did take a trade based on selling trade to us on call now you'll see how i take trades you'll see how i manage trade you see even sometimes how it takes hours how it takes time even to view the trade until you close sometimes even the decision you take once you see a certain thing that maybe the market will not go along your plan along the way as you plan so you can decide to cross profit remember trading is all about making money it's not about losing money so you have to know like when to close profits when you should lock your profits based on maybe breaking even or sometimes closing partial profits or adding more positions if you see the market is in your direction but you have to consider what you call risky management i've been through a lot of course until now there are a couple of things that i'm still struggling because i am i'm a trader who likes to share so don't consider me as a bragging person or whatever you can call me a name but i'm sharing what i know i know you have your own style that you do trade i have also my own style each and every single trader has his own way of approaching the market i have my own trading methodology i also have my own trading style so mind you do not ever ever consider me as a bragging person as consider me as a person who likes to share now let's check it out and you see now i have to see your comments in the comment section your thoughts let's get it you can see right here this is my chart on this chart here you see i have different trades that i took i have this particular trade which is a uh, current trade i exited around this level you may be asking yourself why did i place a tech prof to here and i also took the other trade uh, which is this one here this one here uh do i enter this trade i took it live is what you are going to see on the next lesson i took this trade you may be asking yourself why did i consider exiting this level here or why did i consider exiting this level here i took the other trade live with my members which is this one here you may be asking yourself why did i take this trade here and why did we exit here and the market turns like this you may be asking yourself the other question why did i take this trade here and what do i look at uh, what do i see right now under uh, this current view on the market so we have different things that we do consider once we be you are trading a lot of things that you have to consider before taking a trade and these are actual things that yeah i'll, I'll walk you through in this particular trading lesson but without hesitation let me show you the trades that we took with the members on our discord channel now as you can see here let me show you love this is the discord community of my members that we do trade uh we do i do trade with them you can see this trade here this particular trade in this in this trade that we took you can see let me walk you through how we did this analysis. this was the analysis as you can see here i was considering to enter this is actual trade that uh, i took in live here on the video that uh, you will see it so make sure you stay in this particular video and you can see the moment market made it, this correction we had this liquidation level and then we enter this and we push it through so you might be asking yourself a lot of questions like how do i know that maybe the market will do this i will do this then the other trade this one this is the actual trade that we took i think let me work it through the trade that we took live with this one here this trade right here this one here 
We add this impulsive move toward the downside and we place our set limits around this point and the market triggered our entry and moved on our direction. So let me show you what happened next. Here yeah, this, this actual trade was executed and we had the limits on it and market pushed very nice with 140 pips and kept on pushing with 200 pips and we managed to close this trade with estimated 170 pips if not 160 pips because well, market moved a little bit uh into i would not press tech profit right here so we closed it manually so you will see it in the video as well and then the other trade was this one where i was anticipating that the market wants to break this level market would push through and then we are going to hit our uh, our entry right here and it went through and this uh, other trade that we took which is ended up in a uh, huge profit so you can see in this particular trade only one week we have we have uh, only like a winning streak of all of the three trading setup but the previous week was not in our favor as we only had only two wins out of three wins and you can see this was the gold trade that we took right here yeah it's showing clearly this is a trade that we took live I do trade with the uh, with the members. This is actual trade, and let me show you the is analysis. I think it's going to yes. This is actual analysis that you can see right here. We are anticipating the entry along this level, and the market managed to push through, which was uh, the exact anticipations. Yes, now I think I have to show you the other thing. So without wasting your time, let's go and check the trades that we took. Now, I guess you are going to enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button or the notification bell. Just whenever I upload the video like this, then you will be notified. So this is gold on, uh, on this time frame. Now, I want to, I'll be looking for the source, guys. This market seems to be on a pullback. Now, this candle if closes like this, now I have to wait for a little bit pullback. Maybe these levels here, and then I take shots. So I'll be looking for the shots until this level here. So let's wait and see how market goes. It may take like few few minutes, and then I will have to enter. Let's check it out. check out right now the volume is huge because it's the exact time from uh exact new session it is the exact time session so i'll be looking for the souls till this level here now let's wait for this candle to close below there and we'll have to enter when market comes back this level so let's wait and see So it seems like price is coming through, coming along. So I would have to wait for price to come here and we go like this. So let's see how it goes and we'll update. So right now is 8, uh, 8 p.m. and our trade is ready executed. So what I did as I did explain, we did a break of structure right here. And right now, market trying to read this around here. But though, I did not wait for the candle to close. But all I can see is that the executed now to see price pushing down as I'm ready in. So I would have to wait for some time. And right now is 8.17 p.m. So we'll check out after some time that would update because i did update the members on discord and the trading low now let's see if this trade goes now it's wait for some time that would update we are ready in profit and right now is almost 8 30 pm so here we are let's wait for some time 
and we are reading profit so if it lands around 100 pips i would love to to lock in profit so that i can let it land so the step away and i will check it out later now i kind of closed very nice so now i will increase my risk to five percent so i will risk five percent on this particular trade right here and i will let it run so i did add my positions uh the moment this candle kind of closed and then made a small start to pull by and then i entered i added more trades so basically this is how i trade is my method is called uh, scaling in so scaling in definitely adding positions to learning positions so i have to see price pushing like this i have to see it like this I'd love to push maybe definitely at this level here i have to take my profit so let's wait and see i'm getting up and right now raining heavy so what you do let's go and check out our trees you have to update man it's raining right here and yeah good morning and so right now our trade is landing smalls right here and at first time i missed my top profit right here so all i have to wait is maybe if this kind of closing like this then i have to see price hitting my double profit these are my first two trades that i have to hit my double profit so let me wait and see but this is our analysis right here so this analysis as you remember last time last week uh last time we saw price breaking this level now the tc and right now try to break this previous resistance support level now so it is what it is now got check out our uh, this call members when not have to alert them now this is on trading room and this was our analysis right here and this was the previous one so i have to alert the members that right now they trade yesterday night we had also the zoom session on this particular trade that we took so let me alert the guys the boys i have to alert the boys that right now the trade is running smooth for me so you see for five men learning how many pips let's check it out how many pips how many pips on this one uh it's one 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 four hundred pips so one four hundred pips right now running like one four hundred price is lying so you can see on this one it's running very nice so let's check loud and wait for for this tech profit to hit yes it's pushing heavy And so our first take profit is hit right here and right now plus seem to have the other pull back before even the new york session right now it's london session and i did break even this trade if market does not go away to my take profit now i will leave i will, I will not incur any loss so i also did alert the boys or the uh my members uh on the trading room these are my members like right now they are also sharing their analysis on different pairs like this one out there nice on eu everyone is having style right here so let's go to our trading room okay so our trading room this was the the alert i did alert them like i'll take first step profit hit on 200 pips in profit so right now we are holding at risk free so this was the other update 
in this morning and we are learning our 140 pairs and this was us yesterday we had the zoom session on different pairs with this pair as well and this was the other outlet right here that we are going short on this particular trade and this was the other analysis so this is how i will be updating as well whenever market keeps on going our way so let's wait Yeah, so the gold trade I've decided to close it because right now it's in New York session the market this is on the one candle closing like this so this is not good because it seems like there's a strong dejection right here might be inside this liquidation here so this is not good now I decided to close it uh, just close the, my my trade manually so I think this is the maybe might be a beautiful trade because I targeted this level here. This was my tech profit yesterday. Then I decided to replace my tech profit here inside this zone because I I targeted once the market moves inside this zone, I would have taken the buys. So if it closes like this, then this is not good for selling. So that's why I decided to close it manually. Now let's find out what we got. So guys, before they end, let's check uh, time right now. It's 11, 11 p.m. So remember this trade one we took it? Yeah, you can find my, my previous post. So my tech profit was no, at first time was this was my tech profit, but my final tech profit was here. Thank you. So the update where price did not uh, be leech because my tech profit was the final one was a little bit below here where I was looking also to take to take a bias and then market not reach where I was at break even. And then I decided to close the moment we got a break of structure here, right here. So on the pullback is when I re-enter the bias after closing this. So right now it's moving pretty nice because I was not able to go away from my call. By the way, I have my calls right there. So it is what it is closing a day. I hope you learned one, two, three things from this video. But before we end, I need to walk you through how I do my analysis. And literally, I'll show my time, my framework that i do use you might be asking yourself how did how to manage the trades but i will try my best through this video to cover a bit some stuff so right like you see this trade that i took this trade was straightforward as all because i saw i do use supply and demand and based on the this area here this is my supply level that it was straightforward that i have to look uh, i have to look for selling opportunities because I was at this level which is called the supply level and I also had this reversal candle formation which I tried enter the here and you can see market push it through but again I have this liquidation area here that's why my take profit was along this level but before market even breaking this level my target was along this here you can refer how i did my analysis and how i was projecting how gold would move because this one the level of the next support level remember i'm always taking profit at the support level if i'm looking for selling and i'm always taking profit at the resistance level if i'm buying now you you get the point so at this point the market was selling that's why my take profit was right here and the moment before closing manual the manual the trace you can see the moment market when tapped inside this liquidation area you can see this candle here from here to here is approximately approximately 100 pips because this is gold and gold you know is a commodity asset whenever market moves like this and then you have to trigger your mind to see where you are going to take your profit or where you are going to cause your profit if you are into that trade position again and uh, this uh, this trade here we took the other trade which i did show you the moment we are starting this video 
this one here this is because the market was still stuck inside this one but at the same time it did show us some signs i also took this the other trade if you are following me on instagram and this is based on the other scenario that i think i will not be able to cover them inside this uh, video now let me show you my 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 framework of course this is my framework right here or my trading plan framework so under my trading framework it has to cover the analysis i will do my analysis it has to cover the things that i look at before entering a trade even the time frame that i have to enter the trade as well i have to cover the hourly enter such trade either we use manual entries or pending remains or sometimes i do so i do consider even using the uh into the risk management aspect so as you can see here on the other frame like maybe it might be week or day depending on the asset that i'm trading i have to start from the higher time frame and actually the higher time frame what i look at is just the the monthly the weekly but i have to look at to see the market direction and structure on the lower time frame maybe for h sometimes 45 minutes from four hours to 40 minutes i do look at on the analysis and the entries but the point of interest basically i do focus on, like i said supply and demand levels and the daily key levels so along the daily key levels that we are look at like i have to enter into such areas the conferences the conferences i do based on four signals which is on price uh, supply and demand uh, price action structure and the tools such as supply and uh the tools like um uh, uh, fibonacci retracement levels and so like the entries i do use manual and pen agreement but risk management i do risky until five percent but according to my framework whenever i'm looking for uh for swing limit for swing trades i do risk 2.5 percent on the a trading setup but b setup on on one percent i do use one percent risky uh risky management based on the risk reward ratio is always one ratio two and above but i have to manage also the trades whereby i do manage the trades in a way if i'm day trading if i cover maybe risk reward ratio one ratio two and above i have to close maybe partial profits if i, I am on, already at the area where i should take profit then i let the trade learn that's what i do based on the swings and the day trading i have different styles but I do cover them into my uh, my framework like i said so i hope you have learned two or three things from this video do me a favor to like share and give me a comment in the comment section but also you can share with your friends just youtube they can recommend this video and inshallah i will see you today in this video